Hey folks, now as much as I love high-end hardware, there is something pretty special about getting something that offers up a lot for a low price, especially when it comes to cases. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a case that does just that. The new Solar RGB Compact ATX case from GameMarks. Now it's a case that's available in both black and white, and it's a mid-tower gaming chassis and it's one that focuses on offering up a really slick RGB presentation thanks to an RGB strip on the front panel. The strip is fully user controllable either through motherboard and software or through a button on the top panel. The case also comes with a 4mm solid tempered glass panel and it's been designed to fit just above the PSU shroud and doesn't cover the entire left side like a lot of gaming cases and although this is obviously done as a cost cutting measure it does mean that you can hide a lot of the components that you just don't want on show underneath the shroud. Things like hard drives and SSDs as well as the bundle of cables. There are of course a couple of SSD mounts on top of the shroud too should you want to show them off. Underneath that PSU shroud we get support for a full ATX power supply with cutouts on the shroud allowing cables to pass through. And these are located at really sensible places so getting a clean run to your GPU should be fairly straightforward. At the top of the front panel you're going to find the two USB 3 ports and the HD audio jacks as well as that LED control button. At the top of the front panel you're also going to find the meshed off air intake and there's also a cutout on the bottom which allows the same. Granted this is not the perfect setup for getting vast amounts of air into a case but to be honest with you it's no worse than many other higher priced cases out there. The Solar's all about the presentation, and GameMax actually has plenty of other cases in their portfolio which focus more on airflow, if that's high up on your list of priorities. Of course you're not just limited to air cooling, with room for up to a 280mm or 360mm radiator up front, and up to a 280mm radiator at the top, and there's also a cutout in front of the power supply shroud for a reservoir should you want to go the custom route. The exterior of the Solar is designed with looks in mind and that's mirrored nicely within the case too. It's clear that it's been designed with build experience being a focal point. With clear routes for cable management and even a GPU bracket, something that my premium Corsair 500D doesn't have. Inside the case there's a room for a total of 6 fans, 2 up top underneath a magnetic mesh filter, 1 for exhaust and 3 120mm fans can be fitted up front although you could fit two 140mm fans if that's your preference. Now after talking to GameMax, they are toying with the idea of offering different SKUs of the case, with more or less addressable RGB fans. Obviously if you're fresh to building a PC, you might want more fans included out of the box, whereas if you're a seasoning builder, you might just want to reuse fans that you've already got. So it's great to see GameMax thinking about who's going to be buying their case, and how they could offer them the best possible value. Removing the rear side panel which is held on by two thumb screws, you're going to see that it's a little bit tight, but there is actually a generous amount of channeling and cutouts to allow for neat cable routing. You won't be unsure as to where you're supposed to route the cables, that's for sure. Speaking of the back, you're also going to find the Solar integrated Molex powered RGB fan hub, which controls a built in ARGB strip. You can control the LEDs using the LED button on the front of the case, or through software with the 3 pin ARGB connector pre-installed. The fan speed can also be controlled by the rear mounted fan hub, which is great if you want to add more GameMax fans than your motherboard can control natively. The hub does support proprietary fans though, which does kind of limit your expansion options, but there is certainly something very nice about having one wire coming from your fans, which controls both lighting and fan speed. So on the whole, what the Solar offers up in spades is value, looks and some good flexibility options. Being a compact ATX chassis, there will be a little bit more space constraints compared with a full E-ATX compatible case. To really get a feel for a case though, you've got to build in it, and since I can see this case appealing to a lot of first time buyers, looking for something that ticks all the boxes, we're going to keep it simple with a cheap and cheerful, back to school, homework and light gaming focused AMD Athlon build. Using a micro ATX B350 motherboard from MSI, 8GB of DDR4, coupled to an SSD, and all powered by a really nice GameMax RGB 550W modular PSU. So this system should be the perfect base for anyone wanting to get into PC building for the first time. 
Overall, the building experience was spot on, really easy to work in. The case has ample amounts of storage options and cable routing and tie off points for a modest build, and it still offers room should you wish to expand your spec in future. Sure, the metal used is thinner than, say, my Corsair 500D, but it's a third of the price of that case. And even though the metal was thin, there was no sharp edges to spoil a build, and I can certainly live with a case being a little on the light side when everything else is so well built. And it's most definitely on par with something like a Corsair 100R or 200R, but with heaps more features included out of the box. The one drawback to the case is the fact that for air cooling, there's only the mesh intake at the top of the front panel and the open vent at the bottom. Sure, it's miles better than the slew of cases out there with no intake gaps whatsoever, but really at this point, I'm just raising that to be intentionally hard on the case since it does so much things really well. And in a modestly spec budget build, the airflow it does allow is more than enough to keep everything not only in check, but also comfortably cool, even when you add a card like the RX 480 into the mix. So that's the Solar in a nutshell then, a great looking case with addressable RGB functionality, glass side panel, simple yet comprehensive interior space that's nice to build in, and although it's probably not the case to buy if you plan on an OP build with dual cards and crazy overclocks, for the 99% of you out there, it's definitely one to consider at this price range. But would I have one? Well, like I said at the start of the video, I love parts that offer more than their price would suggest, and I feel that for the price, the solar ticks a lot of the boxes that I would be looking for in a case. It's different, but not too out there that you're going to get bored of it quickly, and with the high quality RGB setup, it can look as standout as you want, or it could seamlessly blend into, say, an office environment with its minimalistic looks. Make no mistake though, it's a case that's designed to be a feature piece, and it's when you have all the lights working together, illuminating your build, it does start to feel a little bit special. And for just over £60, you can't really ask for much more than that. I really like this case, and I think it's going to be the perfect fit for this budget Athlon system I've been putting together, so a big thanks to GameMax for letting me take a look at it. But hey, I'd love to know what you think of the case, so let me know down below. Would you be willing to try something a little bit more unique like the Solar rather than the regular go-to options? I'd love to know your opinion on it. So I'll just leave it there and say take care, and I'll see you all in the comment section down below, and in the next video.